Hi friends, uh, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a capture on your management interface on Palo Alto. Okay, so this is my Palo Alto firewall. So the limitation here is that uh, if I click on monitor, if I try to take a capture under packet capture section, if you click on manage filter, you won't see the management interface here. So this is only for the revenue port or the interfaces which actually uh, processes the traffic rather than the management interface. So how to uh, troubleshoot in case you have any issues with the management interface. Well, uh, to do that, uh, you will have to have the CLI access. And uh, yeah. By the way, this is a uh, 901 version. And the firewall is hosted on our private cloud. So this is the CLI access. And you can take a capture uh, using the TCP dump, which is inbuilt into the uh, this particular firmware, which is uh, basically built on uh, top of CentOS. So in order to capture the traffic on your management interface, you will have to use the TCP dump. Then you should, uh, you know, set the filter. In my case, what I'm going to do here is that, um, this is a typical, uh, TCP dump filter. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the destination port as 22. Okay. Or I can do something like host. Is the management interface. Okay, so this is the filter. Let me set this filter. So my capture is listening on the management interface, which is this interface. And uh, it is capturing, I think by default, it captures only 96 bytes of data. So if you want to capture the entire uh, length, well, what you can do here is that uh, you can set the TCP temp snap length to zero, which will then, you know, let the let the filter uh, capture the entire packet. So um, once you're done, you can either view it, since I already have the SSH access, this is the SSH access, so you should have something captured there as well. So you have, you know, 100 and Okay, uh, let's capture some packets. Okay, now we have some packets there. So what do you want to do with the packet? So uh, what I want to do with the packet is that I want to, you know, first verify that I have relevant data. So in order to view the capture, you will have to use this. So uh, in order to view the capture, you can use the command view pcap, mgmt-pcap and the mgmt.pcap. Okay, let's see the output here. So you can see here. These are the SSH packets as per the filter. And if you want to, you know, import this or export this to the other destination, like I have a, I have a server, the storage server. So you can do it using SCP. So, this is the command 
to export your management pcap the one that you just took to your external server um you have to mention the username and then you have to mention the path mention the password Let's try it again. Enter the password. Okay, I'm sorry guys, I by mistake have given the wrong IP. This is the server IP. Okay, this is the proper IP. <laughs> Access tonight. Okay, the username is different. Now it should work. As you can see, I was able to transfer the file. Now I can list the file here. Okay, so this is the file. I think I can read the file as well. Okay, so if you have the access or you can uh, go to the server and you can you know open the pcap in the wireshark as well all right uh, guys that's all in this video um please do subscribe to my channel hit the like button and stay safe have a good day